Today, I'm going to be erasing Mike Evans' stats all the way down to a zero overall. And for every touchdown he scores, it's 100 points to spend on upgrades. And the goal is to get him all the way up to a 99 overall. I mean, clearly Mike Evans is the best wide receiver on this team. And he's also a top 10 wide receiver in the league. But I mean, now that he's going to be trash, I don't think this team's going to be able to do a whole lot. I mean, as you can see to start things off, our boy is a 12 overall. I mean, I'm just hoping we can get lucky in week one and sneak out with at least one touchdown because if we don't it is gonna be a long long day i mean as you can see in week one we got to play the minnesota vikings i mean i'm just hoping we can do something on this drive because we're already off to a bad start as you can see we're 10 seconds into the game and minnesota has already scored because somehow they ended up getting a kick return touchdown to start the game off i'm gonna try and go for mike evans here though i mean i don't think anything good is gonna come out of this there's no way we catch that that's intercepted too okay look I definitely shouldn't have thrown that ball. They scored again after that too. So, I mean, right now we are off to a nightmare start to this game. And obviously we're not going to be able to use Mike Evans whatsoever today. That's a first down from White though. I mean, at least we do have some decent weapons to work with other than him. I mean, White's pretty good. Obviously we got Godwin, but I mean, Mike Evans, my plan for him for scoring touchdowns is just to, oh my God, there's no way we caught that. As I was saying though, I mean, my plan is just to get the ball to like the five minutes. Maybe even a three yard line because five yards honestly might be too much for him considering how slow he is. And then hopefully he can actually score. I mean, as you saw on that play right there, he almost messed it up because of how slow he is. If you didn't realize, Godwin almost ran into him on that route. But anyways, I'm gonna just keep it on the ground this time. I'm gonna try and go for Mike Evans here now. I mean, honestly, I don't have a whole lot of faith in this play actually working, but hopefully it can prove me wrong. We had that bounce off of our head. The thing is, I kind of just got to keep running this play over and over again because since he's a zero overall there really isn't any other plays that we can actually try out and he dropped it again that's third down he is doing a horrible job right now i am praying this works out but i really don't think it's going to we dropped it again that one was probably easier than the last one now it's fourth down and if this doesn't work we came all this way for absolutely no reason mike i am praying bro please catch this of course he's locked up i'm just gonna throw a prayer and of course, that's almost picked off. Of course, Minnesota scored again after that. So now we're down 17 to nothing. It has been a nightmare start for the Bucs, as I've already said. And it seems like it just keeps getting worse for us. The fact that Mike Evans is basically useless right now is really bringing this team down. I'm going to try and go for Palmer here, though. That should work out. That's going to be a first. I mean, honestly, considering how the last drive went, if I want to actually score a touchdown with Evans, I'm thinking I'm going to have to get the ball all the way to like the one or two yard line because clearly four yards was way too much for this guy. Oh, actually, that's going to work out perfectly. Okay, we're out at the three. The Vikings did end up forcing a third down after that, though. So, I mean, we only have two more attempts at this. If this doesn't work, I'll go for it on fourth down. Come on, Mike, please, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. At this point, I'm starting to think it's impossible. It's usually not this difficult, but for some reason, Mike Evans cannot get his hands on anything. As I say that, he catches a touchdown. Okay, we're finally in, bro. That took so long. So that's finally going to be his first touchdown of the game. I mean, it really doesn't matter score-wise, though, because we're still going to be down by 10 points. We're coming back out here in the fourth quarter, though. As you can see, no surprise, things are not going our way. I mean, I say this game's pretty much done with, unless we can somehow score in the next minute and get the ball back. But other than that, we're basically screwed. I mean, honestly, I'm just hoping we can get one more touchdown with Mike Evans to make this game a little bit more worth it i mean obviously we already have the one but 200 points would be a lot better for us come on palmer get that that's another first down i mean even though obviously evans has been bad godwin's been good too but it seems like palmer is really taking over his place today that guy has been balling out Godwin's gonna get another first down. Give me that. Okay. I'm a bit nervous because this play has been pretty inconsistent today, considering Mike Evans has not really been able to catch a whole lot, but hopefully this works out. We, oh, dude, no way that's how we're gonna end the game off. That's a fumble. I mean, that is definitely not how I wanted to end that game. Mike Evans had enough opportunities to get at least three touchdowns, but since he was trash, we only got the one. But I mean, with the 100 points that we do have to spend on upgrades, I'm just gonna go 
go ahead and max out catching because obviously that was a huge problem. And after just the one upgrade, I mean, obviously it did absolutely nothing. So he's still garbage. I mean, I'm just hoping that makes it a little bit easier to score touchdowns, even though he's still going to be absolute trash. But in week two, we got to play the Chicago Bears. I mean, I was hoping this game would be a bit easier. Maybe we could sneak out with a win. But instead, we are getting absolutely demolished by Chicago right now to start this game off. We're already down 14 nothing. I mean, it seems like not having Mike Evans is really starting to take a toll on this team. I'm going to try and go for Palmer this time, though, and hopefully he can be open. That looks good, but the pass is terrible. It seems like the whole team just isn't playing up to what we're capable of. I mean, the O-line's kind of collapsing. Baker Mayfield is out here throwing bricks. We really need to get our shit together if we want to start winning games. That's going to be a first down that we desperately needed. Going to try and go for Godwin after that, though. I mean, we all know that Evans is not going to be open on this route. I'm hoping we can get at least two touchdowns this game, though, because, I mean, if we can upgrade his speed, the guy should be a whole lot better. That's a first down from Godwin. That's the one thing I've noticed when doing all these videos i mean speed and acceleration upgrades are always oh my god we're getting smoked it's third down after that too because they forced another stop i'm just gonna try and go for more here if this play doesn't work out we are pretty much screwed uh I, I honestly might go for oh never mind i don't gotta go for it on fourth down that's gonna be a first i mean realistically for evans to actually catch the ball i feel like we need to get to like the three maybe the four yard line at the absolute most that should work out okay so four yards to go and we're in obviously this play was a massive issue last game but i'm just hoping that we can actually catch the ball this time now that our catching is maxed out and it looks like he's gonna hold on to it even though we got smoked i mean his catch in traffic is still a zero so i was honestly expecting him to drop that but i'll take it we're coming back out here in the third quarter though as you can see we're getting absolutely demolished right now so it's looking like this is probably going to be another loss for us but hopefully at the very least we can get one more touchdown with mike evans because i mean two upgrades i just go ahead and max out speed and acceleration and then if that works out for the next game what the hell just happened there did you guys see that i don't know if i'm bugging out or what but it looked like he got caught on our own player and then teleported to the ball i don't know what the hell happened there but i'm just gonna pretend like i didn't see that godwin's gonna be open too but we're not actually that's a decent pickup five yards to go and we're in now i'm gonna try and go for mike evans honestly i don't think this play is gonna work out from here but i'm gonna try it anyways I'm just keeping it on the ground, actually. We're going to go out the one. That gives us a first down. So that makes things a whole lot better for us. I'm going to go back to this play again because, as I said, it's really the only one that works in this spot for Mike Evans right now. And he caught it again. I'm kind of surprised he realized there's a ball coming at him because his back was facing away from us. And since his awareness is a zero, he usually just doesn't turn around. I mean, I don't even know what to tell you, man. I know Mike Evans is bad, but we should not be getting slaughtered 42 to 14 by a team like the Chicago Bears. I mean, honestly, even though we got obliterated i'm just happy we got two touchdowns that game so with the 200 points as i said we're gonna max out speed and then we're also gonna go ahead and max out acceleration after all that obviously our boy is still a 12 overall so we've made no progress whatsoever but trust me when i say this those upgrades should take this guy a long way he should actually be usable now but in week three we gotta play the 2-0 philadelphia eagles we do start with the ball here as well so i mean if we're lucky we might actually be able to get off to a hot start this game this defense is loaded though so i mean this honestly might backfire evans is a whole lot better though as you can see we can actually use the guy i mean as i said maxing out his speed and acceleration always takes whoever i'm using a long way and obviously it is no different with mike evans oh dude we're getting smoked i was gonna try and get that to godwin but he was locked up and so was evans white was open at the oh dude please get that evans that is gonna be a touchdown okay this guy is playing a whole lot better now that was really easy compared to what we've been going through before so that is a well-deserved touchdown from mike evans who is now running like tyree kill we did end up getting the ball back again after that too so i mean we actually have a chance to go up by two scores over philly which would be huge for us right now i wouldn't say well yeah i'd probably say this is a must win game at this point considering we're already 0-2 i don't think anyone wants to start off the season with an 0-3 record so getting a win here is pretty crucial for us evans is actually balling out bro this guy's speed is ridiculous right now i'm gonna try and go back to evans here too i'd say he's probably the best wide receiver on this team again even though he's a 12 overall which really doesn't show for it his speed and acceleration we're gonna throw a pick 
we are going to throw an interception when we were in scoring position that really sucks philly scored after that too so now we're all tied up at seven i'm not gonna lie to you i did not see that guy until after i threw it and then obviously he picked it off and that really backfired for us but i mean if we're lucky hopefully we can make up for it on this drive with mike evans i'm gonna try this play again even though it got picked off last time i'm hoping he can actually be open here we're gonna get sacked though and it looks like baker's gonna lose the football i mean they Thankfully, our defense clutched up and got a stop after that. I hate to say it, but at this point, it seems like Baker is a bigger issue than Evans, which is not... I didn't think that was going to happen today. I mean, obviously, this year, Baker's actually been playing some pretty decent football, but Madden's been doing this guy dirty. I mean, it seems like every time he gets hit, he drops the ball. And then 50% of the time, he also throws an absolute brick. Thankfully, that was a dime. The Eagles did end up forcing a third down after that, though. I'm just going to run a slant with Evans, and hopefully, his speed can burn this defense like it has been so far all day long that's another brick from baker though i keep forgetting he's basically incapable of throwing it on the run so i gotta make sure i just stay still this time i'm going for it on fourth down as well because i really want to make sure we get a score here it looks like that's gonna pay off because palmer's wide open so that's gonna bring the ball all the way to the 10 yard line i'm gonna try my best to get mike evans open again here i mean i think his speed should yeah, that's... Sh oh, we're gonna be short, aren't we? We are gonna be one yard short. It's okay. I feel like we don't need to panic just yet. I mean, Kevin Byard is gonna be on his ass, so chances are this play gets shut down, but hopefully we can get lucky. It looks like we're gonna get lucky. That's a touchdown. When I was doing this before, his speed was at a zero, so I mean, obviously it works a whole lot better now. So we actually might get something out of that play now. So I mean, now that's gonna be two touchdowns on the game for Evans, and after that, we got the ball back again. So I mean, we have a chance to go up by two scores going into the half. We do only have two minutes to work with, though. So we kind of got to work fast here. That's a first down from Evan. I mean, we don't have a whole lot of time to work. Oh, yeah, this actually might work out for a big play. The way the defense is set up, I'm thinking... Never mind, they kind of shut that down pretty quickly. I'm just going to keep it on the ground with Baker, and hopefully we don't fumble it this time. Oh, okay, this one actually might work out this time. Come on, defense, don't move. That should be a touchdown if we can get there first. And it looks like we're going to, but he dropped the football. Billy forced a third down after that, too. So, I mean, it's looking like we honestly might be getting held to nothing here. I'm going to try and go to Palmer, though, because it seems like every time I need a play to work, Palmer's always open. It looks like that's not changing. So now 26 yards to go and we're in this play's kind of risky if i'm being completely honest with you but i really want to try and get it to work again because it has worked before actually i'm just going for palmer again because it seems like they are not covering this guy since evans actually has speed now it seems like they're putting all of their focus on him but now we're at the three yard line i feel like this play should be able to work and it looks like he's gonna be wide open so that's three first half touchdowns for evans which is a whole lot better than what we were doing in the first two games so now we're gonna be up by two scores going into halftime we're coming back out here in the third quarter though jalen hurts ended up fumbling the ball so once again we have great field position our defense was actually garbage in the first two games but it seems like they're playing a whole lot better today i mean out of all the games we played so far i thought we were gonna get obliterated by the eagles but for some reason we're winning this game even though we got absolutely destroyed by chicago that might be a touchdown evans bro no one's gonna catch him we're in okay so that is gonna be four on the game for him i think you can see what i mean when i say speed and acceleration are the two most important upgrades to add we're coming back out here in the fourth quarter though the eagles did end up scoring after that last touchdown so i am gotta make sure we play this safe here because i mean we are in position to win this game right now Evans, we're just short of the first. I wouldn't normally go for it on fourth down on our own side of the field, but I'm gonna try this anyways, just because for the sake of this video, I'm trying to get upgrades. That almost failed, but it worked out. Reason I did that, I mean, one, we have a two score lead right now, and two, if we gave the ball up again, I don't think we'd have another shot to try and get another touchdown with Mike Evans. Thankfully, it did work out, and once again, Palmer is wide open. They are actually doing a terrible job at staying on this guy, man. I really wanna try and go back to this play with mike evans here though i mean if he's locked up i can probably go for cleft or whatever the hell that guy's name is but evans is gonna be wide open that's another first down and that's gonna set us up i just gotta make sure we don't throw a pick i mean we gotta be a little bit safe here even though i'm putting it in the air because we only have uh two minutes on the clock somehow baker just keeps avoiding these sacks man that almost worked out for a touchdown i know i probably shouldn't be running this play at the one yard line but i mean with his speed i feel like this is the best option just because like we can get separation on this play that we can on the other play and as you can see it's gonna work out so that's gonna be five touchdowns on the game 
for Mike Evans. And after that, it looks like we were able to close the game out. So somehow we got absolutely obliterated by Chicago. And then we came back the next week and we beat Philly. But since we went off that game, now we have 500 points to spend on upgrades, which should take us a long way. First thing I'm going to do is max out catch and traffic. And then I'm also going to max out spectacular catch. And I mean, I guess we'll also hit medium route running and deep route running. And for the final upgrade, I'm just going to go ahead and max out awareness. And after all of that, our boy Mike Evans has gone all the way up to a 66 overall. I mean, if we can score another five touchdowns this game, that might bring us all the way up to a 99. But to be honest with you, I don't think that's going to happen. So I'd say maybe two more games and we should get there. But in week four, we got to play the New Orleans Saints. It looks like we do start with the ball here as well. I mean, if we can win this game, I would say we're right back in the playoff race. Because, I mean, that would give us a 2-2 two and two record, which is a lot better than a 1-3. and three. I'm just going to try and use and abuse Mike Evans this game. I mean, again, his overall does not show for it because he's only a 66 overall right now. But he should be playing at a top tier level today. It is third down now, though. Because, I mean, that play didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. I'm going to try and run a slant route here. And hopefully, he can be... Be open that's gonna be really close come on i just need baker to actually hit that what a grab that is what i'm talking about bro that spectacular catch seems to be paying off a whole lot i'm gonna try and go for a shot with him now Oh, that might be a touchdown. It didn't let me get rid of the ball, though, and we're getting sacked. Worst part about that is that probably would have worked out with Mike Evans, but either way, I mean, I would have been able to get that to Palmer as well. So the fact that we lost yardage instead of getting something off that play really sucks, but it looks like Palmer is going to bring it all the way to the three-yard line. As I said before, man, I mean, it seems like Palmer's honestly been this team's MVP because that guy has been unstoppable, man. Nobody has been able to guard him whatsoever, and that is going to be another touchdown from mike evans so that's going to give us the lead first and after that our defense ended up forcing a fumble so once again we have great field position here our defense has also been playing a whole lot better than i expected them to and it looks like Evans is in for another touchdown. I mean, that actually happened really fast. So that's going to be two on the game for him already. I mean, we are on pace for another monster game if we can keep this up. We're coming back out here in the fourth quarter, though. The Saints have made things a lot closer. So we're only up by seven right now. But once again, we have great field position because as you'd probably expect, our defense clutched up for us. This play worked last time. The way the defense is set up right now, though, I honestly think it's not going to work. But I'm going to try bench again here here that's gonna be pass interference that really helps us out now we only need three yards for the touchdown i mean obviously we're just gonna go back to mike evans here if this works out which it looks like it's going to that should honestly put the game away i mean we're gonna be up by two scores with only three minutes left on the clock you got the ball back again after that too though and the way the defense is set up i'm thinking evan should blow by everyone so i mean we honestly might be able to end this game with four touchdowns and it looks like that is gonna be the case so that's another four touchdown game for mike evans the game was already over before that so that touchdown really doesn't matter but that should take him a long way with upgrades once again but obviously as you can see it looks like we're gonna sneak out with another dub i mean the defense really really helped us out that game now we have another 400 points to spend on upgrades first thing i'm gonna do is go ahead and max out our agility and then, i mean i think we should also max out our short route running and then, i mean i guess we'll also hit juke move and for the final upgrade i mean i'd say the best thing is probably to max out our carrying and after all of that our boy mike evans has gone all the way up to a 97 overall so i mean i'd say we're pretty much one touchdown away from reaching a 99 and as you can see to end things off it looks like we're going to be playing the detroit lions the lions did score first but i mean we're only down three nothing right now so if we can score here that is going to give us the lead i'm just going to keep it on the ground and it looks like that is not going to work out for us i mean at least we didn't lose yardage but i mean that's only a four yard pickup which is not really what i wanted i'm gonna try and run a slant row with evans though and hopefully this works out for us he's kind of locked up actually we're getting no way dude that is a crazy play i thought we were gonna get smoked i mean now that he's basically maxed out mike evans has been so good ever since we added that speed and acceleration upgrade this guy's been unstoppable but we're getting sacked so it looks like tranquil is gonna ruin our day here hopefully this play can work out because if it does that should be a touchdown the defense looks to be closing it. actually that might work out dude we're gonna find him in the corner and we got the feet down so that's gonna be a touchdown so just like that i mean that touchdown 
touchdown right there should bring us all the way up to a 99 overall but i mean unfortunately after that detroit did an absolute number on us so we are gonna be getting smoke for the final upgrade though i mean i'm just gonna go ahead and max out a break tackle and after all of that our boy mike evans has gone all the way up to a 99 overall so i mean our work here is done mike evans is finally good again but i mean we are two and three so i don't know if we're gonna be able to sneak this team into the playoffs the way we've been playing and i mean it looks like this team absolutely shit the bed going six and eleven to finish dead last in the division so, i mean that's a bit disappointing that we couldn't make the playoffs but i mean the goal was to get mike evans up to a 99 overall and we did end up doing that but to end things off it looks like the cowboys are going to be taking down the chiefs in the super bowl but that's going to do it for this one if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe it'll really help out the channel and if you have any video ideas feel free to drop them down in the comment section below i'll try to get to as many of them as i can and while you're down there comment the most random thing you can think of so we can confuse everybody in the comment section but other than that i'll see you guys in the next one peace out